Hi guys! So I have another review for you, this time of Melissa De La Cruz's first installment of her Blue Blood series, the Blue Bloods, or Blue Bloods rather, and this is a great introduction to the series. Um, she does a fantastic job introducing the characters and building the characters' personalities. Um, she does a fantastic job. It is very intriguing. It keeps you flipping the pages. There is drama in it, but not as much as I feared. And that is a good thing, because by the back of the book, I feared that it was going to be sort of Gossip Girlish, but it's not as much as I feared. It's not at all. I give it three and a half to four stars. Um, it follows Skylar through her journey of discovering that she is a vampire and how she became or how they are aware that they are vampires. The main characters are Skylar, who is a 15 year old girl who attends a private school in New York City. Her best friend Oliver, who is a human but is withholding a secret from his best friend, who is Skylar. Um, and you will find out what that secret is if you read the book. Um, the other character, the other main character in their particular group is Dylan. He is also... Um, he came to the school um, after being expelled from many other boarding schools and private schools for other reasons. Um, he is their friend. He becomes involved with a girl by the name of Bliss who also becomes fast friends with Skylar and she is the main character also. She is also a vampire. Um, the, f the first twins, I believe that's how you pronounce their last name, um, Mimi and Jack, are an odd... Uh, you will find out about them as you read the book. They are they they share a very odd bond. We'll just put it that way. Um, they are identical twins, and their father is um, very powerful. Uh, then we have Mimi's or not Mimi, uh, Skylar's grandmother, Cordelia. She is an older, uh, one of the old, oldest vampires. Um, she is still around to keep an eye on Skylar for reasons that you will find out when you read the book. Um, I do recommend reading it. It is very good. Um, the plot line is very good you find out how they came to be vampires, how the young vampires find out that they are vampires and find out that what their history is. Um, you f find out about a lot of uh, stuff in this first book. It is a great uh, builder of it is a great introduction to the series, as I said. She does very well introducing the characters. Um, it is not... It is very suspenseful. There's not very much action in this first book um, because she used it to introduce you to the characters and the plot and the history. Um... One very awesome thing, I think, is throughout the book you will find letters written like this in the beginning of the chapters, um, and they take you back to uh, 
when the group comes over on the Mayflower and settles in Plymouth, and I did not ruin that, although it's not said in the back on the back of the book, it is said within the first few pages, and it is said throughout the book, so it's not really a spoiler. Um, if you have it and have not read it yet, read it. Um, if you are thinking of, if you are debating on buying it, buy it and read it. It is a different kind of vampire novel. Um, currently, I am reading the second installment, which is Masquerade, and I love this cover. Um, I started it yesterday, last night, after finishing, so I'm not too far in it. I'm only on page four. Um, it is 300 and, uh, 305 pages long, and yes, it still does, I believe, have the, uh, I just saw one. This one has, it looks like, um, articles from newspaper cutouts in it. And I believe she does this throughout the series, and it's, it is actually very interesting. It helps you learn more about the history of the group and um, how they became to be what they are and where they are now. Um, so yeah, it's a very good read. Um, look for the review of Masquerade soon. I'm hoping to have it done. Um, hopefully, if not by the end of this week, by the end of next. Um, yeah. And then I will be reading Revelations, the third book in the series. And I will see you guys soon.